first pitch is moments away at Turner Field. It's the Marlins and the Braves, and it's coming up next. It's time now for baseball at Turner Field in Atlanta as MLB The Show welcomes you to this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, game one of this three-game series is set to get underway as it'll be the Miami Marlins taking on the Atlanta Braves. And hi again, everybody. Alongside colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, I'm Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. We'll hear from the guys in just a moment here. But first, let's say we check out our starting lineup. It's presented by State Farm. Get to a better state. State Farm. Brandon Beachy is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got the usual assortment of pitches, but keep an eye on him in the early going here. If these guys can get to him early, he does have a tendency to start overthrowing. And from there, that's when the problems usually arise. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. Jose Reyes will dig in now, and as you can see, he enters play fifth in stolen bases in the National League. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. Hayward will take care of this one, and Reyes is retired to open up the ball game. Well, there you see his numbers from the last time, only three runs allowed. More often than not, that's going to be good enough for a win, so these guys wouldn't mind seeing him repeat those numbers here. Raul Abanez will stand in, hoping to put together a two or three hit game here as you see the numbers have fallen off a bit over these past eight ball games. In there for strike one. And boy, that was a double victory to start this game. You keep Reyes off the base pass, and you do it on one pitch. Got to consider yourself pretty fortunate there. And now a pitch on the way. Outside for a ball, one and one. And the 1-1 is on the ground down to third. There to take it is Chipper. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Hanley Ramirez will dig in now. One home run shy of 20 for the season so far. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and Now we'll see what they want to do 3-0. and In the first inning, he could very well have the green light if he wants it. Quick. 
Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Warren will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first year. And now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. Now the starting lineup on your screen for the Atlanta Braves, as announced by manager Freddy Gonzalez. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Michael Bourne will stand in now, and this is certainly a guy that can beat you in a lot of ways. Currently your National League stolen base leader. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. At the knees, rule the ball. It's one and one now. And the one one is in the air now, out to center. Therefore, it is Ibanez, and he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Tyler Pasternicki will stand in here, one for four in Sunday's ball game. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Fouled straight back. Classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Yeah, and that changeup down in the zone is definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a good job there to lay off. Now a ball lined back over second, and a dive by Reyes, but it's by him a base hit. And as the season's gone on, this is a guy whose numbers have just not been going in the right direction. So this is a welcome sight with this one out single. So a runner at first with one man gone and that'll bring in the all-star catcher Brian McCann. <laughs> Fastball's too high here, one and oh. Runner at first here, one man out. The 1-0 now to McCann. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. Ramirez is over now and he's got it for route number two. Dan Ugla will stand in. 
And he's having a great season so far, currently fifth in the National League in home runs. First pitch coming. Runner goes. And a fastball in the dirt, but it's blocked nicely as he keeps it in front of him. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And this will be something to watch as we go forward. Will they test that guy's arm behind the plate? And the early answer is yes, as he's into scoring position now with two away here in the first. one -oh pitch now. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. speed pitch and it's strike three called and I think he got a little help with that one as the side is retired Braves fail to score in the first we'll head to the second now at Turner Field no score here on the show Mike Stanton will dig in for the first time here looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Now here's the pitch. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0-2. And he looks at a ball, one and two. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Leadoff man gone here, and that's got to give some confidence after what has been a rough month so far. He's 0-3 in his starts, but he looked pretty good right there. Logan Morrison will stride in now. Two for five in the series finale on Sunday. And a fastball's in there for strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. Now here it comes. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Swung on and fouled straight back. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. And he looks just as good tonight as he did his last time out. 
He's getting ahead of guys early and making them swing at his pitch. And he looks like he's really in a good groove out there early on. Derek Lee will stand in for the first time here. He's got that average up over 340 here entering play. First pitch coming. Foul back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, and another good pitch there, and they've got Lee right where they want him, 0-2. Yeah, and that fastball showing plenty of life to it in these first couple of innings. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he gets around on the curveball as this is hit high and deep out to left. And this one is a home run. A solo shot for Derek Lee. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. You talk about a feast or famine inning. How about this sequence? Strikeout, strikeout, home run. <laughs> you can never take anything for granted in this game. Tom Webb steps in now. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Now the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. On, he turns beautifully on that fastball as this is pulled into right for a base hit. Probably one too many fastballs that time as after fighting off the last couple, he finds one he likes and drives it for a base hit. Omar Infante will dig in. He struggled to a one for five ball game back on Sunday. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw, not in time as he steals second. And when you've got a pitcher that is still likely distracted out there from that home run ball earlier in the inning, you can use that to your advantage, and he does that there with a steal of second base. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Marlins are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1-0 Miami. Matt Diaz step in to get things started for Atlanta to be followed by Chipper Jones waiting to bat next. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1.
Uh, he dials down on that one, but the result's the same. It's a called strike as he's in the hole now, 0-2. And where you don't have a blow it by your fastball, that's a pitch you have to lean on. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good curveball there, but he did not get the call. Let's get you a shot of this reaction at the plate and show motion. You think he agreed with the call? <laughs> I don't think he did. Shepard Jones will dig in. A switch hitter batting right. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And now that one will hop over the wall for an automatic double. And that's one thing about a high fly ball like this one. If no one gets a glove on it, sometimes it gets a pretty good bounce. And this one takes it up and over that outfield wall. Jason Hayward will stand in for the first time now, hoping to break out of this little six-game dry spell at the plate. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. For Chipper, he's in scoring position with double number 27 on the year. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Runner at second here with one man out. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Pause, now the pitch. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. One out and a runner on second base. And he 
misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. He waits, now the pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. And folks, that's what you call working the walk there. Nine pitches, that was a great at bat. Freddie Freeman will stride in. He was one for three in the ball game back on Sunday. And that misses ball one. On the mound, he's got to be thinking, this is no time for that strike zone to start getting smaller. I need that strike. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. First and second now, one man out. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Comes set, now the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it towards the backstop. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. And even with two strikes, that's not a tough pitch to lay off there. Now the two-two pitch. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Full count now. Three and two. And you cannot afford to walk them here, so let's see if they stay with the hard stuff on three and two. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, being a number eight hitter in the National League is is really one of the toughest positions a guy can be in. You know, you've got your pitcher behind you on deck, so guys don't feel like they need to challenge you. You've got to be very disciplined up there. And that time, he just wasn't. Brandon Beachy will step in now. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. Grounded foul. foul. Let's put a few on the board. Swing and the ball lifted into straightaway center. Settling under it is Ibanez as he makes the catch to retire the side. Two left for Atlanta. It remains one nothing. Wade LeBlanc is ready to go here as we begin the third. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And just one hit for this guy in the campaign, so a second might be a bit of a surprise.
swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. Hayward back to get it, though, and that's a long out number one. Well, always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher, and he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. Jose Reyes will try it once more. He lined out to start the ball game. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And some trouble now in right field. Reyes at full speed. Look at him fly. He's headed for third. Yeah, you get a look at this swing. You'll see him go down and hook it just fair down that right field line. And once this ball kicks around in the corner a bit, he decides to turn on the Jets and gets into third with three bases. Raul Abanez will stand in, looking to make this a 2-0 game if he can perhaps get a ball airborne. Get that out of there. Ball one. And this is where you need to do some situational hitting. Just a ground ball up the middle here will get this run home. Bounces on McCann, but a good block there as he's able to keep it close. Ball three as he misses low with it here. Here he comes on three and oh. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. And if he could have made that pitch on 0-0 instead of 3-0, this would be a different story. Swing and a line drive to center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. A little line drive right back up the middle. That's the old return to sender right there as he's able to drive in that run from third base. Hanley Ramirez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And a ball, 1-0. He's running towards second. Pitch swung on and missed. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Can't tell whether this was a straight hit and run or he was just trying to protect him up there, but a good job by that runner of not looking back and getting into second base despite the swing through. Look into McCann, the 1-1, and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, for Ibanez, his first stolen base on the year. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Hayward is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's safe. 
Yeah, this ball's hit high enough that he can go back and tag at second base. So that's a good job of moving up the extra 90 feet now with two outs. Mike Stanton will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. First pitch coming. Oh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. Marlins forced to settle for one. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Marlins two and the Braves nothing. Michael Bourne will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Pitch on the way. And that misses one and one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Tyler Pasternicki will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Looked pretty good on the monitor, but it's ruled a ball inside 1 0. This one's a strike. It's 1 and 1. Comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Away with a fastball, then right back in with it. He is definitely hitting his spots here. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. second out of the inning. Boy, and just a great call that time to turn to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. Brian McCann will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch on the way. In there, no balls and a strike. Boy, and that's not the spot you want to start out a guy like this. He will not get away with that one twice. In there at the knees, 0-2 now.
Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. We'll see Logan Morrison start things off when we come back, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. And there is Logan Morrison. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And this one is gone, a home run. It's a solo home run for Logan Morrison. Number 26 for him on the season as the Marlins have taken a 3 to nothing lead. And wouldn't you know, he's got through the numbers three and four guys okay to start the inning, but the number five guy was a different story, and he takes him over the wall here for a long home run. Derek Lee will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. Well, he gets you out there, but he's not missing many bats right now. And guys are really putting together some good swings against him so far. Tom Webb will dig in. He singled his first time around. Now the first pitch. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Now a ball hit hard toward first. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Omar Infante will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. And now if you can get this guy here, you'll be in a position where you'll have the pitcher leading off in the top of the fifth. Now here's the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Marlins get a run on the Logan Morrison round tripper. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's 3-0 Miami. It's Tuesday night baseball on the show as you take a look at our National League scoreboard and here on the East Coast, of course, some of these games will be getting underway later on. Dan Ugla will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And 
a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. hit pretty well deep down that left field line heading toward the foul pole and that ball is gone as he tucks it over the wall down the left field line so a solo home run for Dan Ugla number 31 for him on the season and the Bravos are on the board it's now a 3-1 ball game About the only silver lining to this one from a defensive point of view is it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. You can survive it when this guy is hitting solo shots, but if he's doing this with two or three men on base, then things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Matt Diaz will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Right back with another fastball. It's 0 oh and two now. Boy, where is the bat speed? Wing hard hit ball to second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And they've been able to time that pitch pretty well here in the early going. And he just shoots it right back up the box for a base hit. Shepard Jones will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Watch is a fastball right there for strike one. And he might not get a better pitch to hit this entire at bat. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And this is at least close to the inside corner, but it's ruled a ball two and one. A runner at first with no outs here. Ah, and Chipper so good at waiting for his pitch. He's got it to three and one now. And you know what he's going to be sitting on now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. The three two pitch, and he got him. And if you're looking for round numbers, that's strikeout number 100 for him now on the season. Now that's a number that I know he would like to cut down on, but sometimes you just got to take the good with the bad. Jason Hayward will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. 
This is a tough play for a right fielder at night because this ball's hit pretty hard. So it's going to stay in those lights the whole way out there, but he's able to hang with it and put it away. Freddie Freeman will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. First offering on the way. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Oh, and a good job there of anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Boy, in a mid-80s fastball that time, but it's a called strike one and one. And this is a guy you want because you'd love to have the pitcher leading off in the bottom of the fifth. Up high, two and one now. Here's the two one pitch. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. for ball four so that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away oh you know he wanted that one now the inning will continue and the guy moves up into scoring position here brandon beachy will dig in here he flew out his first time around now here's the first pitch Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. And now this is where he really needs to take the reins out there. He's looked a little shaky here in the inning. He's got to reestablish control. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. And, and after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. As a look, now the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Braves do get a run here, and it comes on the Dan Ugla home run. We played four. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Wade LeBlanc will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Outside, two and one. And a good fastball here as he pops him up back behind second base. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Well, usually when you get guys to pop up, it means that you've got them off balance, and, and he's been able to mix things up all night long. Jose Reyes will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0.
the 1-0 pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. And I thought for a while that his pitch count was going to become a factor, but that last quick inning really helped him out quite a bit. Right on the corner, two and two. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Payoff pitch coming. Pitch swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. And this is definitely a tough decision for a first baseman to make. He can either lay back and hope the second baseman gets the ball, or he can range far to his right and hope the pitcher can cover first in time. Worked out nicely for him right there. Raul Abanez will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And a good spot there at the knees, but this is ruled to be low, apparently, 1-0. Oh. Well, we've seen that same pitch be called a strike more than once. one 0 -oh on the way. <gasps> and, wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's 1-1. One and one. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. And a ball there to Ibanez. The count's even at two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. And the pitch. Full count. Three and two. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Speedy Michael Bourne will start things out when we come back. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Marlins on top, three to one. And there in fact is the speedy Mr. Bourne. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Now the first pitch. First pitch here is reached for and hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first by Ramirez takes care of him, one away. Boy, hard to get any kind of rhythm going when you get a one-pitch ground out to start the inning. Now it feels like you're behind the eight ball before things have even settled in. Tyler Pasternicki will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league. And he comes through again with his second hit of the ball game. This one for two bases. Brian McCann will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. 
And he commits to the pitch inside, and he definitely went around. That's strike one. Ball one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hits are even right now at five aside. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Ramirez is over and he tucks it away for the second out. And as we show you the sequence here, I think you'll see that really none of these pitches were in spots that he could do any damage. So when you look at this at bat as a whole, you can just simply say he got out pitched there. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. Here's the first offering. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And I think they'll be very careful here with the base open. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Rowan to Lee will take care of him, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Marlins three, and the Braves one. Hanley Ramirez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Overrated. Overrated. Now the 0 1, a ground ball for Ugla at second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Yeah take a couple of home run balls out of the equation and he really hasn't pitched all that badly. Good start to the inning here. Mike Stanton will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. To two balls and two strikes now. Two two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. 
Well, he's made it through two-thirds of these three, four, and five hitters. Let's see if he can set them down in order. Logan Morrison will get another shot. He homered his last time. Fastball in there for a called strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And that misses two and one. Yeah, and after giving up the home run to him earlier, you can see he's trying to make adjustments out there on the mound. Here he comes on two and one. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Nothing across here this half of the inning. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. Miami's out in front, three to one. Matt Diaz step in to get things started for Atlanta. To be followed by Chipper Jones waiting to bat next. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. And even though he's spinning a gem, he's still going to need to avoid that home run ball. So location is still going to be important. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. One one pitch swung on and pulled down the line to third. And a good throw gets him one gun. Good start to the six as we take a look at his line. Five hits allowed, but they've led to just one earned run, so he's been able to pitch his way out of danger so far. Chipper Jones will dig in now. One for two to this point. And here's a pitch very close to the outside corner. He won't get the call, however, and it's 1-0. and Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and One run, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The 2-1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. Swinging a high chopper down the line at third. There to take it is Ramirez. On to first as they're able to take care of Chipper two away. Well, he's really pitching well to this point. The only blemish was that fourth inning home run. 
Other than that, he's been downright masterful. Jason Hayward will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But they'll get the out at first anyway. And that, rather bizarrely, will end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. The Marlins lead it 3-1. to one. Back here at Turner Field, it's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. Well, now here comes Braves manager Freddy Gonzalez out to home plate, and it looks like he's going to work the double switch here. Christian Martinez is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Number 50, Christian Martinez. Now playing right field. Derek Lee will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. This is fouled back and out of play. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Matt with a few pitches to play with, figure him to waste a pitch or two. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. The 2-2 coming. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Alongside Dave Campbell and Eric Carroll, Matt Vaskersian here with the call on this fine Tuesday night at the ballpark. Tom Webb will dig in. One for two to this point in the ball game. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Up high, two and one now. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing, three to one our score. And that one finds the corner for a strike. No, check that, ruled a ball, three and one now. And that one is a cold strike as he's rebounded to run it full now, three and two. Full count pitch on its way. Swing and an easy one for the first baseman. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. They 
could have given up on this one, but he regrouped and got his man anyway. Omar Infante will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins as the lead remains three to one. Since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. And here comes Ozzy out to home plate now as it looks as though he'll make the double switch here. Mike Dunn will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Number 40, Michael Dunn. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot. Number nine. Freddie Freeman will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Here's the 1 0. And this pitch is hit rather sharply toward the third base coaching box. It's a foul ball. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And it just seems like whoever's out there, they've been in his head all night long. Hopped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And this is taken in for out number one. And even with the new pitcher in there, I think you tip your cap a bit to that starter. I mean, he, he gutted out six tough innings, and he's given his guys a good chance at victory if this bullpen can hold the lead. So one away now for Eric Hinsky. is on the outside corner for strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the 0-1 is swung on and grounded the other way to third. Throw in time and Hinsky's a ground out victim. Two gone. Michael Bourne will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. The pitch. And that's offered at and missed by Bourne as he falls quickly behind here. 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. Got him. 
So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Marlins three and the Braves one. Brett Hayes will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. And they'll try to go away with this one, but it misses as well, and it's to two and one now. Right on the corner, two and two. Here's the two and two offering. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Leadoff man gone here in the eighth, and this is just what you need out of your relievers. Your offense has still got two more shots to get two runs home to tie the game, but you need to keep that deficit right where it is. Jose Reyes will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now the pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Oh. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And Chipper will make sure this stays a foul ball. Here's the 1-1. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. A dive, and he knocks it down. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Raul Ibanez will get another crack, one for three thus far. Pitch outside, the throw. And just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. You know, some managers don't like to call for the pitch out right away, thinking if they guess wrong, it changes the whole at bat. But here, they had a good idea he'd be running in. Turns out, they were right. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. Marlins down quietly, but they hang on to it. Just about ready for the bottom of the eighth now, but before we begin, let's go back and see how the Marlins got themselves to a better state. And it happened back in the second inning of play on a big home run right here. Get to a better state, State Farm. Edward Mojica will be the new pitcher. 
number 34, Edward Mojica. Tyler Pasternicki will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. Catch made out there by Ibanez, and that's out number one. Brian McCann will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And he's still looking for a base hit here to keep that modest five-game hitting streak alive. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. Three to one our score. Oh. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Side, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Now the two one pitch hit hard on the ground is short. Right there is Reyes on to first, and McCann is retired here for route number two. Just really struggling to get anything going offensively right now. Even balls that are hit somewhat sharply are right at guys, and there's another example there. Dan Ugla will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And they've got the right guy at the plate, but at the wrong time. He needs to be hitting with a runner on base somewhere. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. Oh. And the adrenaline might be flowing a little too strongly right now. strike on the inside part of the plate two and one right back inside with a fastball this time he got the call line hard to center field Ibanya is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side Braves are set down 1-2-3, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Hanley Ramirez will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. And there's a base hit, and this could wind up as an important insurance strike here as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. Leadoff man on base here to kick off the ninth. It's still a two-run ball game, so any insurance they can get here would be huge going towards the bottom of the ninth. 
Mike Stanton will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch coming. And there he goes towards second. Pitch outside the throw. And he will make it to second base. And that's quite a shock to me because he appeared to nearly fall on his face, leaving the bag at first. Yeah, this was a good spot to try and test the catcher behind the plate as he moves into scoring position now with still nobody out in the inning. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Whoa, that may have been his pitch right there. No one out with a runner at second. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Boy, he's just saying, where do I have to put it? Three and one now. On a big swing, and he crushes this ball deep to left field. Where is this going to land? My goodness, a long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. 29 home runs for him on the year as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Well, this could be adding insult to injury right now as he clobbers this thing, and that'll give him even more of a cushion for the bottom of inning number nine. New pitcher set to take over as Chris Medlin will go to work. Logan Morrison will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. And here's the first pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One and two now. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Here he comes again, one, two. Struck him out, and there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. Well, there it is. <laughs> hat trick, my friend. That's a third strikeout of the game. But luckily, his guys are winning, so it, it kind of lessens the blow, but actually, not so much. Derek Lee will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. And 
and a fastball just misses for ball one. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And this is how you break out of a cold streak. This is his second hit of the ball game, and this one goes for extra bases. And you can see that confidence is slowly starting to come back at the plate. Travis Hafner will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 50. First pitch on the way. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Well, be careful not to airmail that thing over your catcher's head. You got to make sure you don't overthrow it. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Uh, this is a tough pitch running in. Looked like he left himself a little too exposed that time, and ah, uh, yeah, that gets him right in the forearm area. Not a great spot to get hit, let me tell you. Omar Infante will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. From the belt, the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Two straight fastballs now as he powers ahead 0-2. On the mound, you can tell he's not in here to mess around. He means business. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Woo! And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. And this could have been big trouble here, but this carries out there far enough to find an outfielder's glove. And that means that both runners who were smartly not running on contact were forced to retreat. Brent Hayes will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seat. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. But two in the inning for the Marlins, thanks to the two-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. It's the Marlins five, and the Braves one. 
Heath Bell will come on here. Not a safe situation, but he'll try to close it out nonetheless. Matt Diaz will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. And they're not taking any chances with a four-run lead. They want their closer to finish this one off. Foul back. with it it's one and two tough pitch to lay off there but he did and it's even up at two and two Swing at a high pop, drifting into foul territory. Lee is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Two outs away now from getting a good win on the road here to start out this series. Shepard Jones will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. I love you, Chipper! And, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Yeah, I don't know about that. That might have been a reputation call there. Come on, Braves. Come on. Fastball called strike. One and two. And if he can come in here and start putting that pitch in that location, ain't nobody going to touch him. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Uh, and this might be just what the crowd needs to get off their hands a little bit. Last thing you want to do on the mound is hit a guy and have the crowd come to life against him. Martin Prado will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Ball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Off the plate again. 2 0 oh now. And as a pitcher, you hate to hit a guy and then turn right around and fall behind the next hitter, but that's what's happening here.
a strike, and it's two and one. And they obviously want to work him away as that's three straight on the outside part of the plate. Good swing there as he sends this one high and deep toward the left field corner. And that ball is gone as he tucks it over the wall down the left field line. So a two-run homer down the line and left. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And it's a 5-3 game now. Boy, you talk about clutch hitting. This guy comes off the bench cold and then pow, right over the wall. That is not easy to do. Freddie Freeman will go back now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Lays off 1-0. And a lot of these fans had already filed up. They might be in the parking lot, though, turning around. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. I think he's letting this situation get the better of him out there. But you have to have a short memory if you're a relief pitcher. You can't dwell on what just happened. And that's over, two and one. ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away well this is how you got to do it in this league if you give up a two-run home run you got to just move on quickly and he's still upset about it, don't get me wrong, but it's when you dwell on it that you get yourself into more trouble. Eric Hinsky is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Huh. And a high strike there, 0-1. Now here it comes. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. And a step on first through the out and the ball game is over. Boy, and the manager cannot ask for much more than this. It is always good to come out and take that series opener on the road. Guys, the Marlins were led to victory here by the performance on the mound turned in by this gentleman right here, Wade LeBlanc. Can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did its job and got him the victory. That's a wrap here tonight. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Eric Karos. This has been a presentation of MLB 12, the show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 5-3.
five to three. Stick around for post-game highlights coming your way next. From Atlanta, we say good night, everybody.